Welcome back, lady lads and gentle lads product. No, I'm talking we need to remove the leaves. Just annihilate every single bush and shrubbery on this map because the AI can see through them, but you cannot. And that's a problem. But anyway, I digress. Welcome to the stream chat. I noticed that Brick uh, left a message. Unfortunately, not gonna make it because he's sleeping like a weakling. Says the guy who starts feeling tired at 11 p.m. Because for some reason, thanks to the fact that I got work again, although for the next couple of days I'm going to still be off because the job sites aren't ready for us. Um, yeah, for some reason I'm naturally waking up at 5 in the morning, two hours ahead of when I have my alarm set, and I can't fix that. I just wake up at 5 in the morning now. What the fuck, body? Where were we? Oh, right. Our boy, um, Sing, he is dead somewhere. Here? Um, that's all fine and good, I suppose. Everything is very bright and very shiny. Ow, my eyes. Pain, pain, pain. But anyway, who else do we have in chat? We have a Cosmo. Welcome, Cosmo, whether he's still lurking or not. Brian E., who I know is, you know, no doubt getting an earful from Teddy about me not playing Tarkov with them some more. Um, cry about it or something. <laughs> Boomer Rise and Grind Set. Yeah, something like that. When is the 50 Cent Blood in the Sand LP? Uh, all the time. All the time. Mostly my blood. My blood in the sand. What is the next thing I have to do? Let's, let's take a look. You know what? We'll hit up an assassination contract. Why the fuck not? Let's go. Is this thing damaged? It sounds that way. It 100% is. And hey there, Squealy. Complaining about early instead of late. Uh, tale as old as time. Hey there, Unkindly, and Todd. Welcome, welcome. I already picked up that diamond, didn't I? No, there is no diamond in there, actually. Never mind. You know what? Screw it. Either way, with a very rusty looking AK, we need to assault an outpost. I have a suspicion. Yep. I was correct. Um, oh, there. Oh, that's. Oh, it's the jackals shit. shoot someone and not good for business. No, once you're inside, you want to hand off as fast as possible. Let the customer deal with it. How do they move a shipment? I delivered 300 kilos of C4 to Ben Tuway about six months ago. He showed up with a dozen of his men, dead men. He packed C4 into the corpses, figured no one would search them. Smart guy. And are we playing this modded? No. Um, unfortunately, we have to take the malaria pills. Constantly. Looks like Tarkov Desert Mode. Hey there, Teddy. Um... 
That was your fucking head, dude. Die. Die, die, die. Ow. Jesus Christ. Okay, there's one. There's another one down here somewhere. Yeah, there's a car that wants to try running me over. I can feel it. Or, you know, just got stuck there, I guess. Keep quiet. If he doesn't know we're here, we can grab the initiative and shut him down. Well, that didn't Jesus work. Christ. Let's get this on! I've seen you! You ain't nothing! But the AK sounds so pathetic compared to Tarkov, though, doesn't it, Teddy? Come on, I know there's one more of you. Chatty sons of bitches, where are you? Did I ice you? Maybe. Right, there's rocks here. Okay, there it is. Hey there, Pickled. Welcome to the stream. How you doing, Ferret? I like how the stream defaults to 240p. I know, right? Despite the fact that I stream at something completely different. Here, let me fix that on my end, too. Yeah, goddamn. YouTube is... it's... hmm. It's a thing, I suppose. How many mods for Far Cry 2 are there? I have no clue. Presumably a non-zero amount. Listen very carefully. There's the building. Well, no need to listen terribly carefully. Um, we have our mission, I think. How far away is it? It's all the way at the south of the map. Oh, boy. Alright, uh, yep, mm-hmm. Me too. Is it actually mainly anime stuff? I think you're lying there, Brian. Also, hey there, Ashley. Welcome to the stream. How's it going? of you to try driving in a situation like that. And quick saving for good measure, because of course you have to. Um, no, we're not going towards the fort. We're going this way. They use the power of friendship. Whatever good that does them. How am I doing today? Well, I spent uh, most of the day just fucking killing time, waiting for a phone call. Phone call happened, and, um, yeah, I found out that I'm basically sitting on my ass until, uh, okay. Yeah, I'm sitting on my ass until Monday because the job sites aren't ready. Which, by the end of this month, I should... Still should be able to make enough money to meet bill payments, but fucking eh. Or at least mitigate the amount of bill payments I have. 
Good lord, though. came back to die. Okay. You know what? Glad we had this talk. Anytime you make it through a checkpoint, just quick save. It, it'll spare you a lot of heartache. Oh god, it's this area. Mm. Yeah, the lakeside. I forgot. Anyway... Hey there, Kairos. Welcome to the stream. Oh, thanks, Bryony, for never lying to me and only fibbing. Yeah, that's mighty kind of you. Excellent, even. Hey there, Mitchell Oates. Indeed, we're doing Rumble in the Jumble again. Jumble? Hung, please. Anyway. Welcome to the stream, Mitchell. How's it going? Heading all the way south is going to be a bit of a pain in the dick. But, we gotta do it. <sighs> he busted up my fucking ride again. Ooh, oh, boy. Every time. It never ends. They keep knocking loose the water valve, or the steam valve, or god knows what the hell they keep knocking loose, but it's the same fucking thing. In all the vehicles here in Africa, only one part ever breaks. And which is good, because in Africa you just can't find the parts to repair vehicles. This is well known. And so they design vehicles such that only one part breaks, so that you only have to fix that one part every time. Things I want to say. I don't know what those things are. <laughs> I wish my cheap liberty would shrug off hitting a deer <laughs> in the same way that I was able to shrug off hitting that rock. Look, in Africa, vehicles are built different. Remember, only the one part breaks. A car that you can fix by only having to tighten one bolt would be a dream. I know, right? I too long to have such dreams. I don't want them to be memes. I, I want it to be the truth.
No, wait, this is the safe house. This is not where I want to be. Where I want to be is right here. Why do I want to be right here, you might ask? Well, because over here they have meds. Still nothing that I really want to purchase, if I'm going to be honest. Mac 10 accuracy upgrade wouldn't be bad, but no, no. Dragonoff accuracy upgrade. Why would you want that? That sounds terrible. Like, what even is the point of having an accuracy upgrade on a fucking sniper rifle? The bullet goes where you aim it, so what the hell, man? tackle this. I don't want to go through that checkpoint if I don't have to. So let's try to avoid it. And I've been spotted again! Where is it? Good. I can shoot an atom with that upgrade. Boy, wouldn't that be great. Um, right, where was I trying to head again? Um... There is an outpost up ahead, but I don't want to deal with it. I've unlocked a safe house. Are you shitting me? Okay. Oh, Lord. You're surprised this game didn't get in trouble when the whole Resident Evil 5 drama, given you are also a white man gunning down Africans in Africa, lol. Yeah, but the thing is, you're also gunning down white Africans. So it all evens out, and it's okay. Supposedly. Five years ago, you had a deer literally throw itself at your front grill after I'd managed a complete stop. Price of that completely decorative piece of plastic? 300 bucks. I mean, good effort, gents. Good effort.
Oh, we're going all the way to the airfield. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Yeah, I don't think this thing is supposed to be smoking like this. You know, just a thought. I think a forest fire is going to start here, or I suppose it would be a brush fire, given it's all grassland, but mm, I digress. Oh my god! <laughs> and we just keep swapping vehicles every time this happens. Just swap the vehicles. <laughs> Only one crack rock? What kind of a jip is this? I want my money back. Oh, that's where you were this whole time. Okay, well. Um, I'm glad we had this talk. Any more of these weirdos? I hope not. <laughs> Roasted gazelle. Yes. Let's set the brush on fire in order to make roast gazelle. Chicken in every pot. Roast gazelle on every dish. I thought that was a radio for some reason. That wasn't a radio. That was a man. That was a man with a gun. That is a man who... Well, he was a man, and he had a gun. And he was a man who had a gun, but he is no longer a man. Nor does he have a gun. He's just dead. Okay? Cool, I believe uh, that more or less solves that. There we go, more crack rocks. Only one, though. Only the one. We got a lot more crack rocks for completing that assassination mission, though. Ten of them, matter of fact. Ten whole crack rocks. Fuck it. We completed what we set out to do. Vote me for President of Africa 2024. Damn right. Holy hell yeah. We're gonna be fixing economies up in here like it's nobody's business.
And let me tell you, I've got some ideas on how to fix economies up in here. Only 10 crack rocks. I mean, heck, 10 crack rocks is better than no crack rocks, you know? Hold on. Just a second. Okay, I have returned. Uh, where am I? Um, ba, 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 ba. This is the game. Oh boy, alt enter. It's gonna do that thing again now, isn't it? Where it only shows in the top left corner? Yeah, fuck's sake. Oh, hey there. <laughs> I see that the bickering bunch has raided me. Welcome to the stream. And thanks to Kibbs for the raid. Now, where was I? I was in the middle of... Right, trying to assassinate more people in uh, Darkest Africa. Hey there, Chestnut. Welcome, welcome. Oh, good fucking god. Please, learn how to drive. Otherwise, stuff like this is gonna happen to you. See? This is what happens when you run into somebody. Like, you know, try to write this off with insurance. Jesus. Hey there, Blake. Hey there, Loot Cat. <laughs> Safari Smastian. Why didn't I think of that? You know, I think that'll be the title of one of the next one. Oh my. Are we done? <laughs> yep, Kyle dumped the bucket of chatfish on me. Oh, that thing exploded. That's funny. The last good Far Cry? Wait until we play 3, 4, and 5. And 6, maybe. And 7. That one's still in development, though, isn't it? Hold on a moment. Uh, nope, that's the wrong kind of bottle. Mm. Hey there, Draconis. Welcome, and Solon. Welcome, welcome. How are you doing this fine day? Okay, um... Alright, try my best to ignore my fuck. Welcome to Far Cry 2, everybody. The game where you get into a car and every car on the map knows where you are, starts immediately dashing for you, and running their guns off at you. 
Blood Dragon, even. I actually haven't played Blood Dragon. A friend of mine said it was uh, very funny and good, and then I'm like, mm, people tell me that Pickle Rick is funny, but I don't see the comedy in it. <laughs> That's a bit of slander right there. Yep, that was me listening very carefully. Chat, that was us listening very carefully. Hey there, Robert Marks. Welcome to the stream. Lovely to have you. Oh, that's just going to be dead in the heart of a... Um, okay, cool, cool, nice. Mm. I guess we're going home uh, to the center of the map, the bloody way. Blood Dragon's the only Far Cry you've beat. Oh my fucking god! These people, they do it on purpose! Uh, if only they had an insurance system here in Africa. Shit like this would be... Well, maybe they actually have really good insurance system here in Africa, and that's why everyone crashes into everyone else. They're just trying to farm false insurance claims. That's what's going on. That's the reality. But don't forget to save. You know, you're goddamn right. How can you be so fucking right? Okay. Your gun is your insurance. And since everyone has a gun, everyone has an insurance claim. You look at someone funny? Insurance claim. Cross the street wrong? Insurance claim. You ate a chicken on the wrong Sunday? Insurance claim. Well, that's one way to clear a guard post, I guess. That is one pathetic sounding M2 Browning? That isn't an M2, my man. This is not a Ma Deuce. And yes, it does sound pathetic, but not because it's a pathetic sounding Browning. Well, I mean, it is a Brown. Is it a Browning? Uh. God, I don't even know what gun this is. M249? I think it's an M249. Just mounted on the back of a technical. I am not even headed the right way. What am I doing? Payments made in full by lead. <laughs> no. no. Here in Africa, we function on a completely different sort of economy. Gold standard? No, we have lead standard. Hey there, Vassarus. Welcome to the stream, and confirming that it is indeed an M249. Good. Glad we're all on the same page. There is a Maw Deuce in the game. I'll have to find the truck that has it, but it's not this one. It's a Belgian weapon, though. Yes, yes. We must make sure that everyone knows it's a Belgian weapon. And I think I have a quest for malaria pills. Uh-oh. If there's an active quest for malaria pills, you know what that means. This area is under siege fire. Not this part. Oh, this area is under ceasefire, you say? Oh, is that show? Is that show? Oh. 
Look, well now we just have to escape. Simple stuff, simple stuff. Ow, 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 fucking everything. Back in the last century, Browning had a good number of their firearms manufactured in Belgium. So yeah, it's lore-friendly and accurate. We're in the Congo, or whatever the hell passes for the Congo in this game. Good, we've escaped the ceasefire zone, and now we immediately turn back. And top up our malaria pills. Do I think the game would have been improved if the two factions had access to a handful of old beater T-62s or maybe 72s? Um, it would certainly give you a target for, you know, your RPGs that you could purchase. Your malaria is giving you trouble. Go one mile northeast of Pala, around the base of Mount Tabo Molesta. There you will find a man I know. The place is on your map. A man with a good soul will not be denied. But a good faith gesture feeds that soul. Deliver these transit letters. I warn you, the militias attack that place. God protect you, sir. Well, that's just swell, in it. Oh boy, I need to head all the way over there. Well, at least it's close to a bus depot, and we have a bus depot right to our south, so we don't actually have to go that far. Yeah. He says going a little bit too far. That's the one. Hey there, Lulbit. Nice to see you too. Indeed, we've made it to 900 subs. We're still a hundred away from the target goal. But, you know, we're e e inching there closer, ever closer, closer, closer. Do I have a bus pass? Yeah. Again, we're working with a lead-based economy here. So, we have a bus pass. It's called an AK-47. I am not, well, <laughs> female loin eater? Sure, why not? You know, we'll go around this way instead. There also is a distinct lack of lions in this game, which you'd think it would have a fair chunk of lions, but it doesn't. In fact, it has an alarming lack of lions. Oh my god, it's this place. Oh fuck, I walked right past the lake. God, where is he? Really? Malaria now of all times? Fuck. Good, I think he's dead. 
That guy isn't. Lakeside is awful. This place blows. Fucking zebra, I swear to god. Right. to prevent myself from dying. Come on, let's end this already. Well, that was interesting. Thank God. Glad we have a save at that bus station, though. Mm. You die so quick. Aren't actual lions rather cowardly, usually? Eh, sort of. Yes and no. Okay, um... So, the safer journey, ironically enough, is to go this way. And female lions are the dangerous ones. The male lions are just lazy. Right up until mating season starts, and then they have their balls bitten until they fuck more. Well, you think I'm joking? That was very Morrowind? In what way, specifically? Oh, Christ. How are you still alive? Fucker. Oh, the slashing of the guy with the knife. Fair enough. Okay, okay. And now since our AK is a bit low, we need to find a corpse and steal its weapon. I mean, there's a sniper. Also, this is the 50 cal. Right on that trucky boy there. Um, fine, I guess we're gonna be rolling with this. Does that sound better? I think that sounds way better, doesn't it? Cool, now we F5 again. Do I rather have faster weapon degradation as seen in games like this, Tarkov and System Shock 2, or do you prefer to be realistic and generally not matter at the time scale? Um, Tarkov does not have terribly quick weapon de uh, degradation. It really doesn't. You know? 
it actually has fairly reasonable weapon degradation. I didn't want to roll forward like that, I'd like to point out. Dude just fucking matrixed away from that shot. Holy hell. Did you see him lean? Dude was on some X Games shit. Now we just need an African version of Jib. Oh boy. I saw what you did out there. Thank you. You bring letters? Wait, we must have those passports, I beg you. And you've brought travel papers. You can deliver them yourself. Yes, closer. Welcome. You have the fever, my daughter too. We will share our medicine. You have travel documents? You will be better now, and we will be better. We help each other, yes? <laughs> yeah, dude's helping. Dude's helping so much. Fucking jittering all over the place. Holy hell. Until next time. Cool. Quest complete. Go then, hitch driver. Just one guy. Right? One guy. One guy. Just one guy. What is my thoughts on this game's cursed Springfield? I don't know. It's okay. I... liked the rhythm this game had for shooting the Springfield, you know? Oh, God. That oh, was bad. Holy fuck. You're shitting me! <laughs> I kept shooting right above his shoulder. Look, sharing meds is a bad idea. We're the sort of guy who's just immediately sticking syringes that he finds la randomly lying around directly into our arms, so... Don't you be telling this guy what he can and cannot do. You don't even know what he's capable of. Come on, stop hiding. Come out. It's only when I switched seats that he came out. Oh, also I'm heading the wrong way. Right, okay, cool. Well, we gotta fucking get away from that right quick. I mean more how you slam a stripper clip through the bottom of the gun where there isn't any space to slam it. Okay, yeah, no, that part, I just, you learn to ignore it. Yeah, I'm handing out immigration papers for pills. No wonder the fucking North is in crisis. Yeah, absolutely. It's my fault, guys. I just, I needed those pills so bad. Just needed my fix. Brother, why you shoot? Uh, who knows. Why do I shoot, even? I should play a 4X game and have other people do the shooting for me. 
That's what I should do. And the AK ejects left. Yes, it's a left-hand AK. Okay. We just keep stacking saves. That's all we do. We keep stacking saves. Now... I think we take on some more quests for the local douche canoes. Right. Right. Hand over the hardware. Unskippable pat down. Don't believe everything you hear. You're good at your job, better than the other men I've hired. The UF Elliot is getting very strong thanks to you. That's good. What Dr. Kagumbi is trying to tell you is that we've got a job and we're looking for a freelancer to take it. Someone like you, China. The APR is providing security for some European agribusiness. You know the type. Blokes in three-piece suits eager to try some funny business with the local ecosystem and no complaints. So APR soldiers guard the farms and in exchange the company gives them all the rabbit food they can eat. We would like you to put a stop to this treachery. The company farm is in the foothills east of town. There's a shed in there, between two greenhouses. It houses the irrigation pumps. You figure out a way to destroy them. Then the scientists would understand that the APR cannot offer protection to anybody. If you can do that job, that is. Okay. Well, I'd like to do the job. The gesture, go to the greenhouse complex, find the shed with all the pipes, take it out. Payment in stones. Same as always. You're on your own yet, China. Don't expect anything in places out there. Why is he calling me China? I'm fucking Yugoslavian. What the fuck? Whatever. The fucking weird ass Afrikaner. Alright, where am I headed? I'm heading over to there. Okay. Um. Yep, yeah, glad we had this talk. What talk? Me neither. Was someone doing any talking? I don't know. Presumably. Hey there, Georges. Welcome to the stream. How's it going? On the bright side, the drugs have kept your malaria at bay. They haven't cured it, but the needles have given you HIV. A new strain. Man, we're going virulent. Oh, really? What was he doing? Did he even know? I don't I don't think he knew. Yeah, I'm just getting gang stalked by inept mercs. That's what's fucking happening. It's just inept mercs gang stalking me all the fucking time. Lord knows. Over Yo. here. Looks like. See you. Little. See you. Little bird told me you're hitting the OGC greenhouses. Before you do that, how about you head over to the chemical? He's fucking possessed. About Ye High, military grade defoliant. Okay. Bring it back to the airfield, the one south of here. 
I'll put the tank in my crop duster. And while you're at the greenhouses, I'll be dropping the defoliant. Sure, we'll we'll use a saw. We'll use a saw. Well, I nearly fell into a river. Don't know what to think about that. More Cracker Ox, let's go. And don't forget the opium addiction since it's fucking morphine. Dude, we're tweaking. We are jazzed the fuck up. We are a completely new genre of music. Forget a drug addict. We're a new genre of music at this point. We're vibing so hard that they're calling us the new hotness. Just had to make absolutely sure we weren't going to get intercepted by that guy. I think we succeeded. We're the terror of the jungle, apparently. Yeah. I like that title. We'll roll with that title. That title is very fitting. We're going to hammer it into these people's skulls. As is our, uh, well, our prerogative. What with us being a hammer. He's still alive. You're doing what now, Timbo? <laughs> Excuse me? You were doing what? I wonder if the LPO would be a flamethrower that would be really present for this sort of brush war. Who the hell knows? Some poor Merc just unloaded all of his shotgun ammo. What the fuck? Did you hear that? It just went wild. Well, I'm perplexed. Officially. Incredibly, incredibly perplexed. He did not allow the president of the mind to 
More crack rocks. <laughs> OMG, Timbo exposed himself about his grandma fetish. What are you, Rosa? <laughs> Oh, it's the Charlie Sheen 8 gram rocks meme. Got it. God, that is an ancient one. Holy fuck, that's old. That is really quite an exceptionally ancient meme at this point. He was banging 7 gram rocks, that's how he rolls. He's only got one speed, go. Winning. Once upon a time, I tried to do full completionist of this game and get all of the diamonds I could. Which is to say, all of the diamonds that exist on the map. And, god, I nearly succeeded. And then I never completed the game, for whatever reason. Okay, we can make it out of this, chat. That ravine will not stop us. We will not be hindered. Almost fixed. I'll be airborne ASAP. Good luck with that greenhouse, dude. You know, I was complaining at the start of this stream that we did not have enough defoliant in this game. I completely forgot that there was this mission right here where we're literally going to go and drop defoliant. I completely forgot about that. Honestly, I did. It's like I'm prophetic or something, but yet I'm here calling myself out. Either way. <laughs> Welcome to the stream, Mr. Remakes. How you doing? And Whiskey. How are you doing? Am I killing hard or hardly killing? We're killing hard. We're dying hard. It's, um, it's a hard life. We're playing on hard. And it's pain. It is just painful. That's all it is. It's just pain. Defolent? Defoliant. You've been walking without a chain or crutches, so you, or cane or crutches, so you can swarm most of it. Oh my fucking cunt.
Oh well. I'm talking about people talking about taking people's flowers again. Yeah, sure. Well, that was a bit of a journey. And now to get back to our motor vehicle. The eternal question is, Die Hard 2 a Christmas movie? Yes. If the first one was, the second one must be too. That's how sequels work, right? Movies stay within their genre. Been walking around like Fred Sanford mostly. <laughs> uh, I read that last part in your voice. The I'm coming Elizabeth part. Very topical. Hold on, let's get a quick save in. I hear a vehicle. Yep, there it is. It's driving away, which is good. I suppose that works. Less fights I have to deal with, the better. Man, why the hell do I have to be waking up at 5 these days? It's not even that I want to be waking up at 5, it's just my body says, Yes! You must be awake now! And it's like, okay, okay, I get it. I concede! And so somehow I've been waking up at 5am and now I just feel tired and it's only 8. What the fuck? Oh well. That's life, I suppose. And I suppose another part of it is just the fact that, well, I've been playing so much fucking Tarkov with Teddy that goddamn. That game requires you to use a lot of brain. I'm sorry, where was that tree even coming from? Because I didn't see it. Whiskey goes off to bed. Because he works on Monday and he's got to fix his sleep schedule. Does everyone in Africa get their plastic chairs from Walmart? It seems so.
Today it seems I was the one road raging. It was me! It really is digging away at my brain. Mostly because you just have to think so long and hard about, okay, cool, what's the appropriate tactic for the situation? Oh lord, I'm yawning. Whatever, just go deeper into the jungle. They'll not follow us. I mean, they might follow us. They'd be stupid to do so because we'll just end up dead. Wasn't he supposed to spray defoliant for us? God, it's so tough to tell where everybody is. Ow. Oh shit, oh shit. Ugh, crack my arm. Okay. Bold decision of you to fire your gun. Ow! To fire your gun at the explosive stockpile. Where is this cunt? Oh, that's far away. Well, he's doing his best. I took all of that buckshot to the face. And there's another one of them. Glad you're dead. Now, is there anyone else with funny ideas about trying to be alive right now? Hmm? Hmm? Any one of you. 
That's what I thought. Should be nobody. Now. Next steps. Um, this thing does not have a lot of ammo in it at all. There should be an ammo stockpile right here, though, so eh, that helps. And what was I supposed to do? YouTube has rating now, indeed it does, indeed it does. What's the name of the Twitch channel? What Twitch channel? Oh, now he sprays the defoliant on me. Oh, that's just nasty. is he? You know, fine, I guess this is the way to go. Something, something. That's like saying the Star Wars trilogy is in any way, shape, or form like the first. Oh, the last Star Wars trilogy. Yeah. Okay. Rate the stream chat. Um. Well, I lost track of it a little bit, so I'm not sure how to rate it. I best save now. You know, that's great. You know, for that, we'll rate this chat at a solid 7. That's how we'll rate it. Hey there, beeper bugs. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Your brain on coffee, defoliant, random drugs, fuel exhaust, etc. What could go wrong? You know, just huff everything. Huff everything once. Or twice. Or three times. You know, huff it until you're dead. Just keep guzzling down fumes. Oh, that's a friendly. I nearly shot my boy. You nearly had a bullet with your name on it. That sucked. I owe you one. I'm all good. You don't have to babysit. Go on. I know you have shit to do. I'll see you at Mike's later. Good. Three crack rocks out of five. Better viewing than modern TV. <laughs> Damned by faint praise. Okay. I guess now you pick up an assassination contract or some shit? Sure, 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 sure. I literally just cleared you guys the fuck out. Don't give me this shit.
dude ducked under my shot. I'd also like to point out that that previous shot went right through him. The crosshairs were right on his gut. Thread and needle. Now, uh, give me ammunition. Give me compliments. I said, give me compliments. You know, the greatest compliment would be some ammunition, because I know this place stockpiles ammunition. Like, I know this to be a fact. There you go. That's the ammunition. Beeper Bugs thirds that. Cool. So, 3 plus 3 plus 3 equals 9 out of 5? Yes. 9 out of 5. I like that rating. Let's go. Nine out of five crack rocks. Best kind of math there is. Listen very carefully. Yep, that was me listening carefully. Um, read you loud and clear. There's a guy, um, he needs to die, and using my sixth sense. Uh, the dude's, uh, just to the south of me. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Easy clap. <laughs> My schizo senses are tingling. The drugs, they'll, they're telling me where to go. And they're telling me to move south, because that's where a man needs to die. Holy shit, dude, just fucking... F dude flied up into the sky and died. Dude got double bounced so high on a trampoline that he fucking croaked midair. Oh, bugger. I hate this place. And what I wouldn't give for a Carl G right about now. Although, not gonna lie, the following is gonna be very funny too. Or I could just go full machine gun mode. You know what, let's go machine gun mode. Oh, that was the target. Okay. He just let me fucking reload. That, there was a guy who could have absolutely killed me, but he let me reload. Very kind of him. Where the fuck are you? Remember, when you're using a belt-fed LMG, don't be autistic with your reloads. You've gotta, you gotta save it. You gotta save it. No one to hold them, no one to fold them. What the fuck just killed me? 
Did I just get killed by a flying barrel? What? I, I got physics killed. I think I got physics killed there. Let's talk about something more controversial. Is SpongeBob a furry? Um... I mean, unquestionably yes? Next question. Look, let's not get a too... Okay, cool, he went and floated into air again. Wild. It happened twice. The glitch is consistent. Okay, Brian, you enjoy your night. Have a good one. SpongeBob is not a mammal. You are absolutely correct. Sponges are not mammals. They are, in fact, cleaning implements. Oh, that was a bad shot. That was a better shot. Well, this is not going the way it did last time. You think they're in that weird group of sea creatures that are difficult to categorize? But no, they have a categorization. It isn't mammal, but it... They do have a categorization. I just don't remember what it is. Alright. MG time. Okay, the hornet's nest officially disturbed.
Yeah, no, it was fucking barrel physics that killed me. Yeah, I had a feeling he was still alive. And turns out, he was. Hold on, I heard a live one. Can't say I appreciate hearing a live one, but I did. Come on, where are you? Don't be shy now. I guess he's being shy. What a shame. He was a good man. What a rotten way to die. Porifera. Of course Gummy would know. Poor Abera. <laughs> When Gummy runs out of money. He's a poor bearer. Oh no, he ran out of the money. He no longer has it the douche. Ooh, bapity boopity squealy making fun of him <laughs> for not having monies. I am now the Ghetto Blaster. Man, the kind of titles you rack up in this game are wild. Wild, wild, wild. We can even do another assassination contract. Would you look at that? One more assassination contract. Let's go. Listen very carefully. Again, our careful listening skills leveling them up every time we pick up the phone. Every time, chat. We're making progress in the uh, list, uh, careful listening minigame. I'm in Far Cry and not randomly ended by wildlife? Something is amiss. Um, I got randomly ended by a fucking barrel. Does that count as wildlife? I hope it does, cause fuck. <laughs> really? Airfield again? Okay. Fine, fuck it. Airfield. Airfield it is. Oh, we even found a jackal log. Where do you get the weapons? It's a romantic notion that they all came out of the Soviet Union after the collapse. That was a windfall back in 89, maybe through 91, but that's all over. 
I move weapons, I profit from circulation. You get a ceasefire in Liberia, both sides disarm. You think they slag 2,000 tons of guns? No, they sell them to me. I resell them wherever the next war is starting. Throw some Soviet guns from 1989. Oh, that's about half. The rest mostly come from old European armies. After they abandoned their colonies in the 60s and 70s, you know, French guns, Dutch, Belgian. So some of these guns are very old. They've been sold, bought, and sold repeatedly. <laughs> They're not biodegradable. Only the dead are biodegradable. <laughs> oh, what a line. Anyway, um, we're low on health kits, which is just as well because this is a health kit outpost. Uh-huh. Well then. Far Cry always did have charismatic villains. I can't speak to Far Cry 1, but Far Cry 2, certainly. Far Cry 3, everyone knows. Um... Far Cry 4? Um, he was a bit goofy. Far Cry 5, they just... He wasn't even a villain, really. He was just right. <laughs> and then Far Cry 6 is just Gus Fring. So, I don't know what you want me to say there. It's like, okay, cool, you have Gus Fring as the villain. Why is he the villain? Oh, because we're saying so? Alright. The, is the only reason why he's the villain because he was Gus Fring that one time? Yeah? Okay. A type? Yeah, I'm accusing you of having a type, but anyway. Oh my god, Teddy is recruiting people to Tarkov in my fucking stream chat. Jesus Christ, Teddy. Far Cry 1 is closer to Crisis. Far Cry 2 is the first of what is expected to be Far Cry. Yes. Very true statement. Also, I'm heading the wrong way. And somehow I ended up heading the wrong way twice. Uh, you know what? Fuck it. Yeah, just fuck it. Fuck it. This is gonna be an interesting little romp. I don't appreciate it, but it'll be an interesting romp. Hold on. Maybe I'm, I can uh, solve some of my problem like this. Next time I'm at a gun shop, I need to purchase reliability upgrades for the vehicles. Because otherwise, this is just going to keep happening. Like, the vehicle takes a couple of bullets. Whoops, we have to repair it. Ugh. It's one of those mechanics I forgot about. The game punishes you for not purchasing shit. Which, you know... Interesting way of uh, incentivizing behavior. In chiefly in that it incentivizes no behavior. Pagan Min was a cool villain in the opening scene of 4 and then not so much any time afterwards, yes. Hold on.
Yeah, the expensive version of Tarkov is really sort of the way to go, just because... It makes your life easier in some ways and more difficult in others. Is the difficulty that you're going to be facing by having the expand container space a worthwhile trade-off? I'm not sure. Oh, this one is moving! Oh, well, isn't that cute? This is a mobile convoy. Wow. Well, I think there's a diamond to get over here. First and foremost. How do you identify friendlies, the people you're squatting up with? That's the neat thing. You don't. He could tell uh, a thing or two to you about definition of insanity. I have a feeling. The wildebeest just came along to check up what's out. Check out what's up. Check up what's out. Fucking hell. Um, there are ways to identify enemies in Tarkov and friendlies. Um... If you're a PMC, shoot everything. If you're a scav, be very careful about what you shoot. And yeah, the rest of it is just communication and teamwork. Make sure you do the right fucking callouts or you get clapped at the start of the raid because you decided to go up a staircase that you weren't supposed to be going up. You know, just, uh, scuba. Just a thought. Let's put it this way, Robert Marks. I have never gotten clapped for being in the wrong place at the wrong time. It's never been me that gets shot for being where I'm not supposed to be. Is it better to uh, pick the game up and not play it until a wipe happens? Eh, debatable. It depends on how good you are at first-person shooters. Really, that's going to be your major limiting factor here? And so long as you have people to play with, yeah, it makes your life a whole lot easier. Okay, there's the convoy. Clap. 
another assassination quest? You shouldn't have. Let's do it. And yeah, it's still early enough that there are a lot of fle uh, fresh players. Um, you do start now to see people who are a lot better geared. But so long as you have good instincts and you don't suffer from tremendous sunk cost fallacy and greed, uh, you should actually be able to make it through just fine. Like, you can run into a raid with no armor. In fact, some missions require you to be in a raid with no armor. So, yeah. All very doable. I mean, you still want to worry about ID. You just want to do the ID part of things quickly. Don't take too long identifying targets, otherwise you might start getting shot. If you're rolling solo, it's a lot easier to figure out, okay, yeah, cool, this guy, definitely not a friend, because I came in here alone. Scavs have it a little bit weird, um, mostly because... <clears throat> Was I right? Heading here. Yeah, trying to slot in Tarkov if you don't have a fair chunk of time to devote to it on a regular basis is a bit difficult. There's a reason why there's a bit of player falloff as um, raids progress. Oh, that's a fucking place and a half to have to go. Jesus. Um. Okay, I up the river. Sure, maybe. Okay. I think I know what I need to do. I need to grab some health from this outpost up ahead. Then I need to go to that safe house just um, on the right-hand side of the river on this section of map. At which point I'll find a boat that can take me north. But like all games, there are no lifers. Like you, Teddy. <laughs> Teddy is exactly the sort of person you should worry about playing Tarkov. Also, hey there, Thomas Shavata. Welcome to the stream. How's it going? Yep, still in Blood Diamond Country. God damn right we are. Well, we have some jank-ass weaponry. That's all we could really hope for. Never mind, I don't have to go too far in order to find a boat, because I just found a boat. And we remembered a quick save. Uh, what do games like Tarkov, uh, or Tarkov itself, do to make playing without armor uh, viable? Um, it costs you less money. And so long as you can actually survive a raid, which is doable, again, you can loot most of the shit you need in the raid, and then you're basically golden at that point. You loot the shit you want, you bounce out, 
you make a profit, you sell it, you progress the game. Easy clap. The money is free. In fact, you got your money for nothing. The chicks are for free. We got to install microwave ovens, custom kitchen delivery. We got to move these refrigerators. Got to move them color TVs. You're tempted to get marauders, and I was reading chat, and I put my boat on the shore instead of in the water, but that's fine. We managed to get it back in. Tried to teaching Kib about the mysteries of sh yesterday. Eh, well, I mean, sh is the easy one. Next, you have to get him started on ch, j, j, and j. Also, hey there, Green Branch. Welcome, welcome. Another reason I would have gotten Marauders is because it also has an MG42 and Tarkov doesn't. Yet. Um, Tarkov... You know, you'd think it would have major issues with cheaters. Um, but from what I've seen so far, it really doesn't. I have not seen any obvious wall-banging strats or cheats. I haven't seen any obvious aimbotting. Um, Teddy tells me that there are people who fly about and do shit, but I have yet to see those either. There have been a couple of cases where I think someone might have seen me through the grass, but I can't be sure whether or not I didn't give my position away in some stupid way. So yeah, um, it's not that bad for cheating, quite frankly. In that I haven't really run into any of it, or as much of it as I was expecting to run into. Hold on, I want to check for a diamond. I mean, okay, the Tarkov YouTubers are always going to have to deal with um, cheaters way more often. Just by virtue of the fact that, you know, they're streaming, they're making videos, and people are going out of their way to snipe them. Beside the safe house. Okay. Can't say I care. And, yeah. <laughs> I'm a very heavy-footed lad. What do you mean, heavy-footed? You don't think the guy streams? You think he just makes, uh, videos of footage he catches? Eh, well, regardless. I do try to avoid PvP to some degree, mostly because it's very, very feast or famine. 
Because if you manage to kill a PMC and, like, you can get some good gear off of them, great. But the problem is, is that, you know, if you're trying to be a Chad running around killing PMCs, you're gonna be caught in the fucking thick of it for a long time, and it is difficult to disentangle yourself from the bloodbath. Because the moment you kill one and you start trying to loot him, some other Chad is gonna be rolling up on you going, Ooh, I smell blood in the water. I'm gonna shark this fool. And they do, sometimes. Yep, there it is. Uh, that was expected. Well, this is just goofy. So I have a lot of fucking money right now. You know, in theory, I just don't have to be here, even. I can just go back to my boat. Matter of fact, I think I will. Finally he got iced. Jesus. Oh, there he is. Well, that's a problem. Okay, let's heal up. Also, Teddy's right on the whole cheating front in Tarkov. A lot of people do just make it the fuck up for clout. And it's really easy to mistakenly believe that, you know, a cheater has you in their sights when, in fact, you just put yourself into a dumb position. It's entirely your fault you're dying, and you're blaming something that is pretty difficult to verify.
There does come a point in everyone's first-person shooter career where they get very familiar with a game, and they... You you start to be able to pick out, like, you know, something's funny here. But just because something funny is funny doesn't necessarily mean that, you know, cheating is afoot. I make loud stompy noises? I do make loud stompy noises, this is true. I'm usually... yeah, okay. In Tarkov, I am usually very heavily laden with loot. Okay, I've even completed all of the assassination quests. It's just, um, Mike's Bar and Paula. And now I have to do quests for the other side, so, um, Act 1 is almost over up here. We've nearly got this one locked down and in the bag. That's far enough. No weapons. Come on, arms up. Is cheating funny or is funny cheating? Hmm. Bit of both. This guy's not kidding around with the merchandise. Look at this guy. The jackal. What kind of name is that? This guy's crazy. He practically gave his things away. Why did he sell them so cheap? This is the APR. Greatest faction in the land. You're lucky to be here with us. Better than with those old ladies in the United Front. <laughs> You want a job? We got one. It's good. Assassination. Chief of police. Bam. Gepo. Tell him where to find this man. He's riding in a motorcade. It's a moving target. You'll have to pick a spot on the road and wait for him to come to you. That little penis will be in a great big SUV. I'm with the motorcade and kill the cop and make it messy. We need you to send the message. I've got a good feeling about this. How about we pay you right now for the work, hmm? Ambush the motorcade, kill the police chief, and the job is complete. Nobody else in APR knows about this. Other soldiers won't be friendly. Keep your head down. Keep your head down. Easier said than done. Okay, Tomas, you enjoy your day. I... I'm looking and seeing it's 9 p.m. Uh, do I have enough energy in me to continue streaming until, like, 10 or 11? Well, 10 at least I think I have to do. Okay, cool. The audio's glitched out once again. Cool, cool. Sure, might as well head that way. Fine. This is one of those things that I really enjoy about Far Cry 2. The fact that you can have your map open like this and just drive as well. You don't have to open up a separate fucking map within a UI. It's just here. It's diegetic. It's right there for you. You just have the map up in front of you as you're driving. So that you can always go, okay, cool, I'm keeping my eyes on the road. Or I'm just like, you know, taking a quick look down. All right, okay, cool. I see how it is. Who are the factions in this game, by the way? Doesn't matter. Nobody cares. It's just 
side A and side B. You have to complete both of their missions in order to advance into the next stage. Or into the Act 2. And in Act 2, you have to do the same thing in order to advance into Act 3. It's bullshit. What's the problem, man? There's don't no difference. You luck don't be a pussy. You luck don't be a pussy. You don't be a pussy. You luck don't be a pussy. Don't be a pussy, chat. Don't be a pussy. Don't be a pussy. You luck don't be a pussy. Don't be a pussy. You luck don't be a pussy. Don't be a pussy. You luck don't be a pussy. Don't be a pussy. Don't be a pussy. I'm telling you, chat. And so is he. Don't be a pussy. Don't be a pussy. Mm-mm. Can't do it. You're not allowed. You luck don't be very, very illegal. Don't, don't be, be a pussy. pussy. You luck don't be a pussy. You don't be a pussy. You don't be a pussy. You don't be a pussy. This you don't be a pussy. Oh my god. <laughs> don't be a pussy. You don't be a pussy. You oh my god. Don't be a pussy. You 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 don't be a pussy. Don't be a pussy. Okay. Are you done with your shit fit? You luck don't be a pussy. You lucky son of a bitch, that job is sweet. And I can make it sweeter. There's a dude in the village over there. He's hiding a book for his brother, the policeman. If I were you, I'd steal it. This cop will shit a brick when he finds out you've got it. He'll cut his stupid trip. Find and take the book, then we're in business. Oh, baby, the Carl G. Let's go. So we have our stupid AK. And then... We have our Javelin Missile Launcher! <laughs> okay, cool. So, uh, we'll make a quick save right here. And... Now, you gotta be very particular with how you do this. Because you can set yourself on fire. Like I was saying, you can set yourself on fire with the back blast. Here, let, let's do it again, just for good measure. You know? Also, you have to manually reload. And yeah, you're putting in a tank shell into this thing. Unfortunately, it got caught in a tree branch that time. See? You can guide it into the fucking stratosphere and then guide it down like a javelin. This gun is stupid. <laughs> it's not supposed to work like this. That, it, this is a recoilless rifle, I'll have you know. I can also light others on fire with the back blast. It is fucking hilarious. You really need to be careful with doing javelin shit with this weapon. Now then, where do I need to fucking go? Um... In there? Okay, cute. We were just in there! Wow! Don't be a pussy. Don't be a pussy. Don't be a pussy. Don't be a pussy. I have rejected pistol for Mac 10. This is a good thing. Only out of frustration. If I had my way, I'd be going fucking pistol all the way. 
but the iron sights in this game are a bit troll, so, you know, fuck it. Although, speaking overall, the Mac 10 is just way too... Was he just fucking sleeping on the job? I think he was sleeping on the job. What a fucking lazy prick. Just quick save in combat, don't worry about me. I know the MAC-10 is a machine pistol. Like, come on. But what I'd be doing is I'd be preferring to go with like the 1911 or something similar. I'm trying to pop off headshots as often as possible. Just take the damn thing. I'm sorry I ever agreed to keep it. Now leave my family in peace. So anyway. <laughs> now kill him. Good. I tried to look at a box in this game as if it was in Tarkov, and I'm like, ah, look, that's a technical crate. And it's like, nope, 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 that's not a technical crate. Not in the damn slightest. Well, I guess we can just roll around with a Spaz 12 for now. Fuck it. Well, that's a ways away. I think we'll go there by boat. Going around by boat is a fine way to do things in Act 1. In Act 2, not necessarily so much. In Act 2, things can get a bit dicier. Because the boats... Or beefier.
Cheeky Breaky keeps fucking sending me his Mech Warrior 5 builds just before the update uh, on the 26th drops. While he can still use his mods and make really, really broken shit. Like locusts that travel at in excess of 900 kilometers an hour. You know, just casually. Casual 900 kph locust. No big deal, no big deal. I see... or yes, I have picked up the Half-Life shotgun. Which, it depends on which version of Half-Life you were playing, because... The first time I played Half-Life, it was a really scuffed version that featured the M4 instead of the MP5, for starters. Uh, the pistol was different. Uh, what else was there? Yeah, the shotgun was different, too. It was weird. Very, very weird. So some mad lads have turned Halo MCC into good Battlefront 1 and 2? Define. Whatever. Just keep going. Come on, unjam. We're playing Florida Man Boat again. Yeah, that was a fucking rough situation. Nearly a deadly situation, too. Now, where to next? Left. Gotcha. Yeah, the pistol went from a Glock to an M9. So yeah, I guess it was with the HD models, which is strange to have to say. They turned Halo 3 into Battlefront 2. Well, that's cool. Uh, you mean on Sand Trap, that whole thing with the, um... that Borzois are everywhere, or Borjoy is actually the way you pronounce it. You love that they're everywhere now? Fun. Um, but yeah, so Sand Trap has the uh, Scarab fight on it, for example. I think that's what you're talking about. go, police station time. Oh. Fucking stop.
How are you alive? Well, that was wild. Um, there's a sniper over there. Okay, I think I got under his gun, for what it's worth. Beautiful, beautiful. Man, I knew the deputy would lose it. He's putting his guns on a convoy right now. I'm gonna point right these fuckers and take everything they got. You better be in on this, or I'm dead. Nasty, 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 nasty. Fuck. to go. Again with the jamming. Hold on, I have to deal with this cunt before I can actually get that diamond on the roof. This thing's jamming on me a bit too much for my comfort, so we're switching weapons. Um, right. Jump, 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 run, jump, acquire. As in, you can play on a Hoth from 2005 with ATA. Oh, that battlefront! Oh, why was I thinking. I was thinking Battlefield for some fucking reason. But, okay, apparently it's. Hoth. Okay. This is good, too. Okay. Now then. Well, we successfully made it out of that again, somehow. We'll take it. We'll take it. Um, yeah, this is the way to go.
Right. We took our turn a little bit too early. I need to get an old-fashioned Mossberg pump action. Oh, I'm so glad I saved. I'm so glad I saved. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, there's the crash. Oh, boy. There it was. Spite determination and a lot of meth. Yep, that's how we get through Far Cry 2. Now hold up while I light up this pipe. Now when you say you need to get an old Mossberg, do you mean in real life or in the game? In game, okay. What was he doing? Is he okay? This is a bit of a cluster. What the fuck? Okay, cool. So I just have to clear out that encampment before I'm able to progress, otherwise I get fucking flanked. Okay. And there was also a tree blocking the fucking road. That's not cool. IRL Mossbergs are pretty much the gold standard for pump actions. I'll believe it.
Okay, still too many of them. I actually can't do what I just did there. Okay. This one's gonna be weird. Aren't older 870s also pretty good? So I hear, so I hear. Quick save here instead. Also needed to reload, that's cute. Jeez, how many of them are there? Fuck. Come on. God, this game's brutal. Thanks, man. We're good. I need a minute. Go on, see if Mike's cool. Cool. Well, that was certainly an engagement. God, I just got out of combat. <laughs> Staff. Why is every single person I run up against an enemy? Every time. It just doesn't end. There are 45 Mac 10s. Is that a fact? Fuck it, I guess it's true.
Nathan rules me, right? Another mission for this idiot. Okay, um, fine, fine. You know, actually, I should probably head down to Mike's bar. Make some purchases. Well, that's what I should do. Yeah. Exactly my thoughts, Ashley. Exactly what I had in mind. I should be upgrading my weapons. And also heading the other way, you know? I was briefly considering driving there completely backwards, but no, no. Still going the wrong way. Oh my fuck. Fine. Yeah. Also accurate. Um, it's more worthwhile to trust the booze than it is to trust the water. In tropical countries when you go there for the first time. Matter of fact, that's one of the prime ways of getting sick. Just drinking the local water when it hasn't been, like, boiled or anything. Because the bacterial flora of the water, when you go to a new place, is completely different to the one you're used to, and so you're very likely to get sick. Unless you expose yourself slowly through just, like, tap water and such. And so, you know. Basically, just drink some soft drinks until you acclimatize to a location. Or alcohol. Just never stop drinking alcohol when you're on vacation is the greatest way to avoid illness, probably. This is uh, not scientific fact, my dear, but, you know, it's my kind of science. Right, don't Carl G myself. I don't think that the police would like me to... Uh-huh. Right, we're still out about firearms. <laughs> yep, you need to activate your charcoal before you can drink the water. True, very true. Was it only repair upgrade? I don't even know, man. Ah, fuck it. Let's just purchase some weapons. Accidentally moved away from the screen. Damn it. Pistol belt for more ammo. Okay, let's get a medium kit. Um, camo suit for the stealth upgrade. Okay, this should help us out a lot. And in terms of weaponry, anything I want from in here that strikes my fancy. Silent MP5 could be funny.
And Silent Makarov was also cute. But, okay. So it's the stealth suit that was locking us out of um, properly good stealth play. PKM would be amusing. IED. Look, the IED is cute, but no. <laughs> yeah, dial-up internet in Africa. Wow. <laughs> Accuracy upgrade on the grenade launcher. I don't think I need that. We'll take PKM accuracy and reliability upgrades, however. Good. We didn't really get to use the Carl G very much. I sort of want to tool around with a PKM, though. PKM, there's a grenade launcher. And uh, for our third weapon, oh, what should it be? What should it be? Maybe a shoddy. Hey there, Psycho Dad. Welcome, welcome. How are you doing? Welcome to the jungle, amigo. Okay. It's good that you're here. I just learned of a large weapon supply. A man I know he told me has been hiding them at his ranch house. The APR has seized his home, you see. He is afraid they will find his guns and then... Who needs accurate grenades? Here. They just have to land close by. The That's all that needs to happen. I'm looking for someone willing to go there and destroy the cache. Maybe you. Bueno, we already have enough weapons around here. Is that a fact? Already have enough weapons around here. Who do you think you are? Okay. I know how we'll play this one out. We go to a bus, we take a bus, and then we head south. Yep, there's the saving. Okay, no, the bus is over there, but whatever, we'll run to it. <laughs> it's like, there's enough guns, meanwhile. Dude with a PKM just fucking strolls up.
Wasn't it the case that uh, safe houses were supposed to act as a fast travel point? I sort of remember that being the case. I park my car like your sister does. Well, that's a falsehood. In real life, I'll have you know I park my cars very well. Supposedly there's a weapon shipment here. No, just an ammo pile. Okay. Is another one of these roof fucking diamonds? Is that what's up again? Hold on, I need to check this. Hold on, how do I get the diamond that's here somewhere? Back in here, gotcha, gotcha.
Kairos says good night because he's had enough. Well, good night to you, Kairos. Enough guns in a lead economy? Never. Absolutely not. We need as many of these fucking things as possible. the way we came. Fine, I see how it is. Yeah, honestly, Robert Marks, it's best not to chance it. I mean, you know... Fuck, the amount of trouble you can get into if you get caught transporting firearms like that in certain places can be pretty nasty. Always best to err on the side of, if you can avoid altercations with local uh, law enforcement, do so. Okay, it is nearly 10 p.m. And I am rapidly growing more and more tired, which is, you know, one of those things that comes with the territory of uh, waking up at 5 in the morning because your body says, yep, this is the perfect time to be awake right now. Okay, thanks. Thanks, I'm, I'm gonna be so much more tired later. That's a future me problem. I don't care about that, says the body. And, I mean, yeah, okay, cool. If you don't care, you don't care. We'll just wrap up this mission from Mike's Bar, and, um... Maybe start another one. Try to complete as many of the quests up here in the north as possible. Before moving on. We'll just do a quick continue without saving. Grab ourselves one of these cars. Wheelie's jumping the gun a little bit on the sleep well, but noted, noted. Thanks, thanks. Remember, first we gotta hand in a quest. Then once we hand in the quest, we gotta, you know, set ourselves up for another quest. Hola. How did it go? Did you find the ranch house okay? So, no more guns for APR. Too bad. Be sure to Mike, uh, grab a Mike's Hard Lemonade from Mike's Bar. I don't even know if they have that down here in Africa.
Yep, there we go. We've gone far enough away that it uh, gets a new quest loaded. Jungle Bogey, says Mr. Cornell. Uh, which is a bit of a shame because I am about to wrap the stream up now that I uh, am unlocking this here quest. Because it is 10 p.m. I started streaming at 7. What the fuck are you doing? I have a favor to ask you. There's a convoy of trucks passing through today. Carrying new furniture for Buentwe's mansion. Can you believe that? His people starve in the street and he buys gold-plated dishes. It's obscene. I would destroy the convoy myself if I could. But I have to meet the contact here in an hour. You do the job for me. Buentwe will just have to make do. Good luck. Good, 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 good. All right. Now, with any luck, I will not be waking up at 5 in the morning tomorrow, which means I'll probably be able to stream a bit longer if that actually ends up panning out. But in any case, for now, this is where we're going to drop our quick save. And, you know, just for good measure. Ooh. <laughs> Manual save. Yep, that looks like the business. You know, just to be absolutely certain. Accept. Good. And just quit the game. And without further ado, as always, I have been Smastian. This has been some Jungle Raiden in Far Cry 2. And until next time... When I see you again on some Savannah battlefield. Until then, I wish you all a good night. <laughs>